In a whole life insurance, both death benefits and the premium stay the same throughout the life of the policy. In this scheme, the costs per $1,000 of benefit go up as the insured person grows older. So if the person lives up to 80 years old and beyond, it could get pretty high. Insurers could adjust the premium according to the insured person's age, but that would be burdensome to older people. Insurance companies just charge a higher premium than what's needed to pay claims in earlier years. They invest the difference, use the money to level the premiums, and help pay the insurance for the older ones. Whole Life Insurance offers guaranteed insurance for life. With Whole Life, there are two prevailing guarantees. First, you are assured of a guaranteed premium to pay. Since it is level, the amount you must pay won't increase. Second, your beneficiary will receive a guaranteed lump sum payment in case of your death. You also have the option to make your business as a beneficiary. Whole life insurance has cash value accumulation. Aside from staying covered for life, you can build a significant but stable cash asset. It will be independent on the rise and fall of the stock market every time. Should you need the money suddenly, you can borrow against the cash value portion of your policy. It's also a good standby fund for future needs, college money, down payment for a home, business loan, etc. In terms of tax benefits, a whole life insurance has several tax benefits. One is the tax advantage buildup of cash value. It means you defer paying taxes on the dividends that you are accumulating. Second, beneficiaries typically won't have to pay income taxes for the death benefits. If the policy pays a $30,000 death benefit, then the beneficiary receives the entire $30,000 tax-free. A whole life insurance will generally cost you more than term or universal policies. This is largely due to the added guarantees that come with it. Whole life insurance does not carry the same flexibility as other policies. Should you want to increase your coverage or adjust your premium upwards or downwards, it might not be possible. Lastly, you could get lesser interest earnings from your cash value account compared to other instruments. That's it for now. On our website you can find more posts as well as life insurance calculators and other financial tools. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel on YouTube. We would love to know your choice of life insurance so feel free to share them on the comments below.